Should mention, can't play without him, referee Richard Aspinall, he'll be uh, assisted by Darius Bradley and Abid Hussain. Uh, it is Gateshead about to get us underway. Some fine voice from both sets of supporters here. Do you know what, Phil? I think I'm going to say well, I think we might have gone over 2,000. I think it's going to be very close looking around now. It, it, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's certainly, it's going to be one of Bly's biggest crowds for, for a good couple of seasons, I would say. And we are finally underway to come back straight to Alex Nicholson, midway inside the gate at half. He's launched forward, looking for Kedwin Scott. Ball contested, so loose ball fell, and it's won by Carl Byrne, who appeals unsuccessfully. Plenty of movement in the area from both sets of players. And it's whipped in. It's a good ball, and it's a header. Oh, it's just gone beyond the far post. I think it was Paul Blackett. That's a bit of a let-off, Phil. It was a bit of a let-off. From Mitchell is returned by Gateshead defender. JJ O'Donnell against his former club, holding off Dan Ward. O'Donnell breaks forward. Good ball. Connor Thompson, another former Heat player, breaks into the area. Big chance here. He's gone past. Oh, it's oh. just beyond the far post. What an opportunity. What a start we've had here, Phil. <laughs> Absolutely. Both sides very, very close indeed. Thompson did really well. It cut inside. There was only Dan Maguire in the box to find, but it was just ahead of Maguire and just wide of the post. Be taken by Michael Little. Just in line with the edge of the gated area, finds Robbie Dale. Dale looking for some movement, gives it to Little, Little into Maguire. Maguire faces up his man, cuts inside, finds Robbie Dale. Comes off the back of Dale's head, but great challenge by Hickey. And he stays strong on the right-hand side, needs some movement, needs some support. Goes into JJ O'Donnell, O'Donnell holding off story. Back out to Carl Byrne, good ball in by Byrne, that's a good header. Oh! Just over the bar. It's Connor Thompson again, just drifted into the area. Good ball in the left foot of Byrne. Thompson's made a good connection, but just got too much on it, and it just narrowly evaded the crossbar. Story goes long again, looking in behind. It's an unbelievable ball. If it gets there, but Buddle managed to get ahead, and it only falls to Dan Ward. Dan Ward approaching the edge of the Spartans' box. Gets a shot goalwards, but it's easily taken. Easily taken by Alex Mitchell. It's Bailey. Bailey's got a chance to get across in here, but he just holds off, cuts inside. Onto the edge of the area, dinks a ball in, it's got deflection off a Spartans player. Byrne heads it back across goal, it's a chance here, and it's a goal! Thanks. It's Paul Blackett. Not entirely sure what's happened there at the back for Spartans, it's a header that's just fallen back to the edge of the six yard box. Blackett is completely unmarked, and he has sent it into the roof of Alex Mitchell's net. It is Bly Spartans 1, gate 10 nil after 15 minutes here at Croft Park. First blood to the visitors, Phil. But it's a poor first touch. It's found by Ward. Ward into Langstaff. He's got Blackett free in the middle. This is not the play. It faces up Michael Little. Breaks in the right side of the area. Plays the ball across the front. A goal. And it's well played by Mitchell. Finds Buddle. And Buddle will clear. Again, Phil. It's all gate at the moment. It is. Mitchell can only parry that. But parry it out safely to a blind defender. He had to really. Because otherwise Blackett was in with a fairly good chance. Chance to break out here for Spartans. A rare one as well. It's JJ O'Donnell racing towards the edge of the gate head area. No options around him. But he's going to play it back to Carl Byrne. Byrne with a chance to cross. Poor first touch. Oh, what a touch that is, by the oh. way. What plays it back that? to O'Donnell. O'Donnell cuts inside. Can he get a shot away? He can. And it's no! a goal! Oh, a finish. It's a great finish. It's an inevitable goal from JJ O'Donnell. And I will make a point of saying he is not celebrating right in front of those gate head fans. Carl Byrne is. Carl Byrne certainly is. <laughs> I mean, we only do an effort. But good build up and patient again on that way again, Mark from Bride. Good patient build up. And uh, JD O'Donnell just skipped past the first he defended, didn't he? Left foot. Cross Chapman scoring at the far corner. Down the right hand side has Thompson just inside. Cuts inside another challenge. Byrne goes on the overlap again. Plays it back to Thompson. Thompson cuts inside on his left foot. Looking for some movement. Finds Maguire. Maguire. Oh, oh I'll tell you what. Pen. He's given it. Pen. He's given it. I think it's Alex Nicholson challenging with with Maguire, Maguire's just got to the ball first and Nicholson's brought him down I think Nicky Devidix, another former here player, I think to take it well, I know I probably or would it, say or this is but it, or is it Robbie Dale, it is Robbie Dale to take it I'm a little bit surprised at that Chapman, some mind games going on here yeah. from the gate to keep it on the edge of his six yard box now makes his way Back to his line, Robbie Dale to take with that right foot of his. I've got no idea what kind of pen Robbie's going to take here. It could be either side, chip, In anything. front of the gate said fans, hands waving, trying to put him off. Dale, hands on hips. Goalkeeper has, oh sorry, the referee has one last check with Chapman. Tells him to stay on his line. Whistle to mouth, Dale steps up. 
And he scores! Oh, what a pin! What a pin! It's a good penalty from Robbie Dale into the left-hand side. Sends Chapman the wrong way. And the Green Army are up again. They lead 2-1. They've come from behind Bly Spartans. And Robbie Dale, we mentioned club legends. He's certainly won here. Applauds the port of Bly stand. And it is, as the midway point of the first half passes, it is Bly Spartans 2, Gateshead 1. Back to Langstaff. Langstaff on the right hand side into Williams. Williams finds Tinkler. He's broken free. Can he get across in? He can. It's a good ball. And it's cleared by Byrne. What a challenge that was at the far post. Uh, that's <laughs> unusual from Hickey. <laughs> I think he was trying to knock it over his shoulder, wasn't he? To overhead kick on the edge of the 18 yard box. And he's only putting it towards goal and so went up two yards over the bar. If he had got his toe on it. If he, his foot under it. If he hadn't made such good contact on that, he could have been in trouble. Floated into the near post, flicked on, and the ball's inside the six-yard box. Well taken from Mitchell. Some some doubts after the Southport game on set pieces from Mitchell, but answered them in Spennymoor or in the Spennymoor game here, and he's done all right so far. Now I'll say this: Nick Devlix has lined up as if he's going to hit this for a shot. Robbie's at the far post. Robbie heading towards him. It's flicked in. It's a good ball. O'Donnell gets on the end of it. It's up in the air. Loose ball. Is cleared by Williams with a number of Spartans players lurking to Robbie Dale. He picks it up left hand side, faces up Langstaff, skips past Langstaff. It's a good ball in the area, little touch over defender. And that's an interesting effort from Hickey, just floats beyond the far post. Chapman watches it without too much worry, gets the play straight underway. Two. He cuts inside, gives it to O'Donnell. O'Donnell plays it out wide to Devidix on his right, cut. You would imagine will cut inside. Burn gives him an option. Great ball by by Davidix. And it's a chance. And oh, how do you miss? Just wide by Connor Thompson. Around about eight yards from goal. Wonderful link up between Davidix and Burn on the right hand side. It's a good ball from Burn. Pulls it back. And Thompson gets decent contact, but the direction just sends it beyond the far post to Tinkler. Back to Hunter. Robbie Dale wins it. And look. Thompson is breaking down the left hand side he's got a chance to pick up Maguire he's trying oh, to use his why, right why did he delay there Mark he, he got around the back of the defender he had the chance to cross it first time I think he should have used his left as well to be honest but he had Maguire six yards out he's reluctant to use it um, sometimes I think just that was a, just to go for a chancing wasn't it really just trying to get it across yeah the atmosphere is a little bit flat now after the incident I'm sure it'll pick up again yeah it, uh, I should say we are still playing here at Croft Park. We've probably got about three minutes left of this first half. After a, I'll tell you, I'll stop now. Apply the rain, and it's Thompson. Oh, oh, what a save that is by Chapman! What a save that could have been three-one quite comfortably. Good little flick. Thompson goes in behind, uh, but a fine save by Chapman. Williams getting ready to swing it in. It's a good ball. There's movement, but Spartans clear. It's Story. Oh, it's just beyond that far post. Robbie Dale tried to clear her, but Story's nicked in ahead of him. He's tried to fire a cross goal, and he's just, just sent it wide of that far post as Gatehead come close to getting back on level terms here. And just takes his time, plays it back to Toby Lees. Lees plays it forward, looking in behind that Spartan defence. Maguire holding off two challenges, does very well, tries a volley, and it's gone over the crossbar. And that is half time here at Croft Park. It is Bly Spartan 2, Gatehead 1. A very, very strong crowd here, by the way, at Croft Park. I think we've been trying to estimate it, and I'd say we, we are closing in on 200, if not surpassing. Uh, Spartans get us back underway. Long ball forward, but it's clear by Gator. Picked up by Kedwin Scott. Into Paul Blackett. Challenged by Jordan Hickey. Oh, get away. Luke Williams getting ready to swing this cross in from the left. Sent into the area, but it's poor. It's headed by Carl Byrne. Finds Devidix. Devidix, good ball to Connor Thompson. Can open those legs of his. Has an overlap with Carl Byrne, but he decides to go on his own. Byrne's still trying to overlap and still overlapping. Now he gets the ball. Time to cross. It's a good ball in. It's taking a deflection. Oh. And it's a corner. Great last ditch challenge. I think it's Jack Hunter. Doesn't Second seem one. to be injured, so I think he's just looking after him he's in terms of. Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, I th he's looking very disappointed and had a few slaps on the back from his teammates as he came off. Clearly uh, disappointed to come off when he could contribute more, he feels. Williams could cross in. It's a great save by Mitchell. It took a flick off a Spartans defender. Might have been Hickey. I think it was Jordan Hickey, yeah. yeah. It's off the, the, the midfielder. And uh, Gator just starting to get themselves going here. Play 
Plays it down the line. Good turn from Owen Bailey. Has a chance to swing across and if he wants. Cuts back on his right foot. Plays a good ball to Kedwin Scott. Kedwin Scott with a chance to get a shot away. It's comfortable for Mitchell. Takes it quite comfortably down by his left-hand side. As the wind howls around Croft Park. It's a corner to Gateshead. Taken by Luke Williams. It's gone in towards that near post. It's got to be finished. It's not. How oh, has that not gone in? I'm uh, I think it's Macaulay Langstaff as well. He's been in prolific form this season. The ball just <coughs> eased its way across the six-yard box. All he's got to get is a meaningful contact. And he somehow managed to not put it in the back of the net. Looks down the line, has options. Looks in towards Paul Blackett being held by Toby Lays. Holds him off. Plays it off to Kedwin Scott. He's got a runner if he can find him. It is Tinkler. Tinkler on the right-hand side of the Spartans area. He's all on his own. But he's somehow danced past three chances. Plays one, two with Williams. Good play from Tinkler. Cuts inside. Tinkler, good chance, but it's blocked. And it's going to be a corner to Gatehead. Second touch. Tries to take it past O'Donnell. Good pressure from the former Gatehead man. Spawn supporters asking for their team to get up. Williams now. It's a neat passing pass move here. Ball goes in towards the area. Jacob's there. Good header. But it's only come out as far as Bailey. Bailey. It's a good ball back post. It's a great header. And it's a goal, it's offside, it's offside, Lou Story found the net, beat, beat Mitchell is near post, but the offside flag cuts short the celebrations, that fill must have been tight. It must have been very tight, it was a beautiful chip in wasn't it, and, and uh, finish actually, if it hadn't been offside, that was, that was a classic goal. Jacobs on his top, but he is actually Matty Jacob. And there's only one, two Matty Jacobs. <laughs> Dances into the left-hand side. It's deflected cross. It's headed. It's got to be clear by Spartans. And it is just about scrambled clear. And Little volleys it. <laughs> oh, dear me. There's Little and uh, Mitchell and another defender. And a right mix up there. Again, Gator really had the chance to pounce. Hunter. Hunter back to Williams. Williams down the line to Langstaff. Langstaff back to Williams. Plays it into Hunter. Back to Langstaff. Langstaff, given time and space to get a shot away. Bobbles just in front of Mitchell, but he's done very well just to keep his composure. A substitute in a, a Europa League game at Atromitos in Greece. Blimey, what did you have as your breakfast that day? Do you know that as well? Uh, bacon and eggs. Oh, right. It's a good ball in by Williams. It's flicked on, and it's comfortably just for a moment there, Phil. I thought it was going to nest in the far corner. Yeah, me too. A bit more power on it, it might be done. Yeah, but it's nicely nestled into the hands of Alex Mitchell. He calms things down. Launches it forward, looking for Macaulay Langstaff. Beaten in the air by Nathan Buddle, but it's only as far as Alex Nicholson. It's a good ball. Now it's Campbell, first touch, ball in behind. Langstaff, it's saved. And Painter, can, no he can't. He just lets it go out for a, for a corner, but a great stay from Chapman. Very, very similar to the one he made from Glenn Taylor on Tuesday. Yeah, very, very good. He's kind of let himself down a little bit. Um, his distribution sometimes needs a little bit of work. Sometimes it's a bit hitty-missy, to be honest. Sometimes I've seen him ping some brilliant passes, but... Seen pretty some awful ones as well. So I think um, mm. what I do yeah. think the Spartans are in possession here inside the gate at half. Maguire on the edge of the area tries his luck. It's bounced up. Oh, it's just well, cleared. As we were just talking about Chapman. Yeah, he should have held that really. Should, it's not the greatest effort by Maguire. It popped up in front of Chapman uh, and he's just allowed to bounce off his chest. He was saved by defenders there. Uh, blocked out Thompson's run. Tinkler to take. Goes long down the line, looking for Paul Black. He tries to hold it up. Reed and Campbell competing. It's a Gateshead man that wins it. Campbell, that pace opens up. Got a man in the area. It's a great ball in. It's Kedwin Scott, and it's just gone wide of the far post. Outstanding from Campbell. Got down the right, outpaced two Spartans defenders, and Kedwin Scott just couldn't direct it inside that far post. A bit of a let, let off fill. Bit of head tennis going on at the moment. Not really attractive, but it's well played. And it's Campbell, it's a good ball, and it's Blackett. Blackett in on goal. He's brought down, and I think he's going to get a yellow card. He's getting a yellow card for simulation. I must admit, my first instinct, Phil, was that he hadn't been touched, because as Mitchell's gone towards him, Mitchell's put his yes, hands in the air. Yes, he clearly stopped. Yeah, the former Bly Spartans, Loney. Not endearing himself to the crowd that used to applaud his goals here. Well, I think it didn't help earlier in the game when he scored and he did the sort of cup of years yeah. to the Blythe fans right in front of them. I don't think that was particularly yeah, courteous. Now officially received that yellow card. 
Campbell. That touch looked vital, but Spartans are just about going to clear. Here it is, Mitchell. And it is Lumford towards Alex Nicholson. Nicholson closed down by Maguire, forced him back towards his own goalkeeper. Five minutes left here at Croft Park. It is still Bly Spartans 2, Gator 1. Chapman brings the ball to halfway inside his own half. Knocks it forward, looking for Story. It's gone in behind. It's a chance. It's Langstaff. It's just over the crossbar. Another letter for Bly Spartans living on the edge a little bit here. Devedix wanted that ball back. Gator now back in possession. Nicholson just about got that ball past JJ O'Donnell then. Otherwise, JJ would have been in on goal. Good ball towards Story. Story, good header towards Kedwin Scott. There's men free in the middle. It's a good ball across. There's a chance. What a challenge. Now, Jordan Hickey hasn't made contact with that, but I tell you what, that's an unbelievable challenge to put off Longst uh, Langstaff, sorry, who had a real sight to goal about 12 yards from goal. Yeah. Great work again from Jordan Hickey. It, it so could have easily gone wrong, couldn't it? It could have been a, a pen. But Spartans are pressing again here, and they'll have a throw in midway, in, well, just on the edge of the, the gated area. Robbie Dale comes out the, comes out the dugout and roars his approval of, of his teammates. Oh, he's going to get booked or someone is on the blind bench. Gates said, player vehemently protesting. Yellow for, I can't really see. Oh, it's a red. red. Oh, it's a, it's a second yellow. Oh, it's uh, Carl Byrne. It's Carl Byrne, and he's just getting a right ticking off by Nicky Devidix as well, by the way. Oh, my God, he's down his feet. Can only move. It's in towards the Spartans area. Great header from Sean Reid. Back to Bailey. Bailey. Oh, he slips, and it's... Tackle! <laughs> Proper tackle, Bailey. It's inside the Spartans area. It's all gone a bit Sunday league again. Good ball towards far post by Jacob. Great oh, header. What a what header, header, header that was. Oh, sensational. Match defining. And I tell you what, I think we could have a bit of an injury here, and it doesn't look a great one. Go free kick to be taken. Mitchell clears it. It's JJ O'Donnell wave back on. Gateshead in possession. Story hoofs it forward. It's hanging in the air. Langstaff collects, Langstaff, great save, Mitchell, and sits on the ball, hits the floor, and you think that will be it, Phil. What a save, Alex Mitchell, what a save to conclude, almost, a tremendous local derby here at Croft Park, 7 stroke 8, that's it. Chapman plays it short, I've got to be honest, I'm surprised it hasn't just gone, referee whistled them out, and that is full-time here at Croft Park, it is, Fly Spartans 2, Gates had one. Spartans continue their impressive run against their local rivals. Gates had took the lead early on with that Paul Blackett goal, of course, former Spartans Loney. But it is a 2 1 win for Spartans, thanks to an equaliser from former Gateshead man, JJ O'Donnell, and a Robbie Dale penalty. Phil, what a 90 minutes that was. Oh, my word. My club, my club. Ours. What a sensational performance. Deserve victory, possibly just yes. Um, the fact is, we beat one numbers of goals scored, and at the end of the day, that's it. I mean, they said came back, they gave us a game, but I, th I thought we might be more tested to be absolutely honest. But yeah, I mean, Bryce's performance across the pitch, I mean, what an improvement in the last two games. I mean, the, that turnaround, that transformation has just been a sensation to witness.